Okay, so we've had a go at the eye, we've had a go at the nose, and now it's the turn of the lips. So once again, you can uh, choose to trace it through um, if you like, um, or you could have a go at drawing it freehand. So I'm gonna do my first example freehand, where I'm just trying to do, I'm gonna start with just a straight line. Even though that line's not straight, it'll help me to get started. And then I'm going to think about where that kind of V-shape is in the middle there, just above my straight line. Put that V-shape in, and then these lines that come down, put those in. And then that straight line, now that I've got this shape here, that straight line, I can look more closely and try to get that exactly or close to how it is. It's not straight at all, is it? It's a bit curvy. And there we go. And then I can see the bottom, the middle of the bottom lip is quite straight. And it's about as wide as these two. If you look, they look like mountain tops, don't they? These two mountain peaks there. It's about as wide as that. Something like that. So we start with that bit and then join it up to the edges. And then at this stage, you'd look at it and think to yourself, does it look right? Is there anything a bit wonky? Is this side longer than that side? Which I think it is. <laughs> and that side needs to be a bit longer. And it's just a case of constantly looking at what you're drawing and making little changes. That's how we improve. So you could start like that, or as I said, um, uh, as we showed you in the uh, nose example, what you could do is trace it through. So you shade in the back, you shade in one direction like this. Don't have to cover the whole piece of paper. Just where the detail is on the other side. Shade the other direction. And all we're doing is this uh, um, uh, graphite uh, on the back that we've just shaded. That graphite gets pressed through onto and printed onto the paper when you press on the other side. So that's why we press quite hard on the other side. Draw on the lips. You don't have to press really hard, just quite hard will do. Um, okay, so I've drawn the lips there and there they are. Okay. So now I'm going to get a uh, another one because that one's got lines drawn out, uh, drawn all over it. And uh, once again, I'm going to start by looking at where the darkest tone is. So it's this line here, isn't it? So that bit I can press hard on. You see, I'm not doing it in one line. I always do short strokes, backwards and forwards. Okay, now at this point, as, as we did um, with the nose and we did it a bit with the eye as well, we're going to put a mid-tone on there. So I'm just going to shade over the whole area and around it as well. So over the lips and around the lips. It looks like a scribble until you start to smudge it and then it looks okay. So that's a mid-tone, halfway between dark and light. Okay, so now I can see these bits here. Look slightly darker. It's a light, light a bit there, which I'll just leave alone. Now I'm shading quite quickly, but you might want to take your time might find it easier. I'm shading quite quickly because I'm, I'm used to it. I've uh, had lots of practice. But if you haven't had that much practice, look closely at the tones. Look, it's getting darker there. So I'm going to press a bit harder there. Okay. Not bad. And then it's kind of like almost like a graded tone where it's, it starts off very dark and gets lighter. Here. 
so I'm going to press hard, but then I'm going to get lighter and lighter. And there's quite a hard, hard edge shadow there, isn't there? So this side is mostly in shadow. I'm going to press hard on that side. And then just that bottom edge of the lip there. It's kind of like a line there. The middle bit of the lip. Plop that in very gently. Okay. Make a bit darker on this side. Okay. So, um, right underneath the lips, you often find that there is a little shadow. So, I'm just going to put a little shadow in. And this part here, you can't see it on there, but this part kind of goes in a little bit. And there's a bit of shadow on this side, but not so much on the other side. Okay, so that's pretty good so far. Last thing to do, as we've done on um, uh, the eye and the nose as well, is just put a few highlights in. So lightest bit is around there and around there, isn't it? It's quite tricky, especially if your rubber is chunky. <laughs> right above the top lip, you often find that because it, it sticks out a little bit right above the top lip, there's a highlight there. So I can make it lighter there. All of this side is light, isn't it? So I'm going to put that in. All that highlight. There we go. So it's light up there. And then it's light here, isn't it? Just that, just that tiny bit of light there. I'm going to catch that. A bit lighter here, where the bottom lip kind of ends. There's a highlight down there, but I'm going to ignore that. Okay, so I'm just going to blow away some of that rubber. And then, as we did with the nose, uh, I'm just going to smudge a little bit to blend in the edges. We've lost the edge of that lip there, so I'm going to put that back in. And that's about it, really. I've drawn it twice, haven't I? So um, it would be a really good idea to have another go. Oh, before I go, there's always some little shadows just at the corners of the mouth. Can you see there where the lips turn down a bit? So there you go. The process was the same for all three things that we've done for the lips, the nose and the mouth. Um, we started off by either drawing freehand, by trying to copy the shapes in the air, um, or by tracing, didn't we? By shading on the back and tracing through. Um, and then we used uh, mainly a mid-tone there, we shaded all over. And then we started off looking at the darkest areas, didn't we? Which was the pupil here and the eyelashes here, the nostrils here, the middle of the lips here. We started to look at the darkest areas. Um, and then we worked our way towards the highlights, the lighter areas. And that's it. Okay, so we're looking forward to seeing what you can do. Good luck.